how to start a finance blog, personal finance blogging for beginners. Hey guys, Brian with WP Cube Blog, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a complete personal finance blogging for beginners tutorial on how to start a finance blog. Whether you're a newbie at technology, have no experience at blog starting, or even if you are a pro, this personal finance blogging for beginners tutorial video will be perfect for you. The great thing about this tutorial is it is extremely easy to follow along with, even if you have no experience in starting and setting up a finance blog. By following this tutorial video, you will have your finance blog set up in as little as 10 minutes. At the end of this video, you will have your blog successfully started. I'm going to be providing you with a bunch of helpful resources that will help you in your blog starting journey towards the end of the video, so stay tuned. The first step I'm going to cover is how to choose and register your own domain name for free. To have a blog, you have to have a domain name. Step two, I'll be going over how to choose a hosting provider. To have a blog, you have to have hosting. Step three is getting your blog set up for free with the most popular blogging software today. The blogging platform is WordPress. If you want your blog to rank, reach success, etc., WordPress is the way to go. If you don't have time to start your WordPress blog right this second, be sure to bookmark this video so you can come back to it later. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is head on over to Bluehost via the link that I provided in the description. Bluehost is will be getting a free domain name and up to 63% off web hosting. Make sure you click the link in the description to get this great deal. To have a blog, you have to have a domain name for people to find your blog and web hosting that powers your WordPress blog. A little about Bluehost. Bluehost powers over 2 million websites worldwide and over 850,000 blogs around the world. They are also recommended by WordPress themselves since 2005. They instantly install WordPress for you, which makes starting a blog that much easier. They provide 24-7 support via chat, email, and phone, and they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. If for any reason you are unhappy, you can cancel and get a refund, no questions asked within the first 30 days. I do want to mention that the link is an affiliate link, and I'll receive a commission which helps support this channel and helps us put out more WordPress tutorial videos. Once you click the link, you'll be at the Bluehost homepage. You'll see the Get Started Now button on the page. Click the button. This is where you can select your hosting plan. You'll see three different options. You'll see a basic plan, plus plan, and a prime plan. I recommend going with the basic plan, and then you can always scale up whenever you'd like. If you have more than one website, then you want to choose either the plus plan or prime plan. I'm going to choose the basic plan for this tutorial, as this is most common. Go ahead and hit the select button on whichever plan you would like to use. We are now brought to a domain page where we can choose a domain name that we want completely free, or if you already have a domain name you'd enter it in over on the right for the new domain you can select if you want it to be a dot com dot net dot org etc dot com is the most popular domain extension so i'd recommend going with the dot com if you can i'm going to type in a domain here and click the next button you are now brought to a create your account page this is where you will input your information we have first name Last name, the business name is optional. Put your country address information in, put a phone number, and lastly, the best email for you as you'll get email to receipt of payment and a copy of your login and credentials, etc. Below that, you will see package information. You'll see account plan. This is where you can select the term for your hosting package. You have 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, and 60 months. As you can see, you'll save money the longer you purchase your hosting for. I'm gonna select the 12 months package. Setup fee is free. Domain registration is free. Let's Encrypt SSL is free. This SSL feature is a free SSL certificate which makes your site secure with the green bar and with the eight HTTPS. Domain privacy is an add-on that I highly recommend. It will prevent telemarketers and marketers getting a hold of your personal contact information and bugging you with their services. The domain privacy will show Bluehost information for the site and not yours. Site lock security fine is security for your WordPress website and protects it from hackers. I'd unselect this as there are really good free alternatives. You'll see Code Guard. Code Guard creates daily backups and allows you to restore your site with a click of a button in case something happens. There are free alternatives that work just the same. SEO tools start you can keep unselected. This add-on will submit your site to search engines and provide a report on your site ranking and keyword rankings. 
Submitting your site to search engines you can do for free. This isn't necessary to have. All these add-ons are completely optional and up to you to get. As you can see, you're saving a lot for this hosting package. Below that, you will input your payment information. I'm not going to fill this out for protection of personal information. Once your information is filled in, you want to select the I have read and agreed to Bluehost privacy policy and terms of service. Now click the submit button. You are now brought to a page where we will choose a password for your Bluehost account. Click the create your password button. Input the password you would like. Click the I have read and agreed to Bluehost privacy policy in terms and conditions and click the next button. You will be directed to a congratulations page. Click the blue login button to log into Bluehost. Bluehost is also going to at this time email your dashboard login information to the email address you provided. You will now see pick your theme. Bluehost has a bunch of awesome free WordPress themes that you can choose from. You can select the theme now if you want to or below the themes you can click skip this step. If you choose a theme now, you can always change change a theme you pick without any problem at a later date. I'll be going over this in more detail later in the video. Once you choose your free theme or click skip this step, you'll be at the page here stating all done. Click the button that says start building to start building your blog on WordPress. Once you click that and log in, you'll be at the WordPress dashboard. This is what the WordPress dashboard looks like. It'll ask you a few questions as you can see. If you don't need help, just click the you don't need help option. Once you do that, you will see this page. You will see blog posts where you can add new blog posts. You will see where you can add new pages to your blog. If you want to change your navigation menus, you can do so easily. And if you are going to sell products on your site, you can install WooCommerce to do so. On the far left, you will see tabs. Hover over them and get to learn them. Post is where you can add new posts. Pages is where you can add new pages. The media tab is where your images will show that you upload to your blog. Comments is where you can view comments people leave on your blog. Plugins is where you can install plugins for your blog. Almost any customization or feature that you would want, more than likely there's a plugin already made for it. Appearance is where you can change the look of your theme or change your theme to another one or a premium theme. Select themes when you hover over appearance. It will showcase free WordPress themes that you can choose from. If you select most popular, it will show you the most popular free WordPress themes. Hover over a theme and click install and then click activate to make the theme your WordPress theme. You should also see add new theme on this page. This is where you can add a new theme if you got it from another site or it is a premium theme. A great resource I've used for several years and recommend for professional WordPress themes that look like an award winning design agency did your blog is Creative Market. This is the Creative Market WordPress blog themes page. You can easily browse WordPress blogging premium themes, click on them and get a live preview of themes as you can see here. Here's a few examples of premium WordPress themes that are already pre-made for you to input your information or change however you'd like. You'll see they look really good. Click the link in the description below to check out Creative Market. In the top left of your WordPress dashboard, you will see Welcome Here or your site title towards the top of the page. Click this to view your site. To log into your WordPress dashboard, you can do so via the Bluehost C panel or by typing in your domain name with a slash wp-admin. Here's an example. It'll bring up this page here. Just input your login credentials to be logged into WordPress. Another great resource that is helpful and used by over 500,000 users is a drag and drop editor called Elementor Page Builder. Elementor Page Builder makes starting and creating your WordPress blog easy. You can make edits by dragging and dropping. Search Elementor Page Builder on the plugins page and install and activate it if you'd like to try it out. Elementor has a free and paid version. I provide a link in the description so you can check out and compare the features of the free and paid versions. Another great resource to check out is Fiverr. Fiverr is a great place to get tasks done for just $5. It is helpful if you need a logo or something done. I provide the link in the description below. And that is my personal finance blogging for beginners tutorial video on how to start a finance blog. If you have any questions, get in touch as I'm here to help you with anything you need. All right guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more WordPress video tutorials. Leave us a comment, we love hearing from you.